hey guys this is anai back with another message back with another word if you're new to the channel this is the soul anai where i'm here to represent the word of god so the enemy does not come to rob do not feel bad for where you are going next what does this mean this literally means that whatever you're going next is one between you and god so don't sit over here and focus about who you're leaving behind because at the end of the day it's not a competition your growth and your journey your spiritual journey is literally for you it's not for anybody else you know and i'm not talking about when it comes to testimonies and stuff like that because people's individual testimonies help people but what i'm specifically talking about is where you're going next don't sit over here and try to compare your situation and the things that you're going through to a friend even it could be the most closest friend to you the most loyalist friend to you do not compare your situations because you guys are going in two different places you guys might end up and meet up at the same place eventually but you your guys's task and your guys's assignments are completely different we know that as you know believers of god believers of yeshua believers of holy spirit that we are supposed to walk by faith and not by sight however we understand that there's imperfections with us as humans that we can't always walk by faith sometimes it is hard to do that because there's so many distractions and there's so many things coming at us at once that sometimes when we see things with our natural eyes we tend to panic however if you are in a season if you find yourself in a season where there's things going haywire all over you but you still feel the peace of god just know that you're wor you're working in the right direction i'm not sitting here saying that you're not worried or you're not consumed with certain stuff because you're human that's a natural emotion that's a natural feeling however if you genuinely overall still with everything that's going on still feel um a high level of peace that means you're going in the right right direction because you know god is not going to sit over here and provide you fear and what i mean by this because this is another word that i definitely want to dive deep into and i wish i had my notes um with me on this subject but pretty much people what people don't realize what courage is as you guys can see in the bible bible time again god is always telling people to be strong and courageous be strong and courageous 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 and the word the definition courageous in itself it has the the word afraid or it has the word fear attached to it but it's a healthy fear it's a when i say a healthy fear i literally mean that you are stepping into bravery it does not mean that you are scared shaking in the corner that means you are literally doing something that is stretching your faith that can cause fear but you're still going through with it the health this is the healthy fear that god wants us to to face if you look up the definition of courageous actually i'm gonna pull it up for you by definition literally means the ability to do something that frightens one so again this is a healthy fear that god wants us to have because what is fright what does frightening mean frightening means that you're scared that you're afraid but it says it gives you the ability to do something that frightens you god is not wanting you to have fear where you are stuck and you are stagnant and you're shivering in the corner and you're not actively moving you can still have fear but still do something and that's what god is telling us by being strong and courageous he's not saying that oh it's a sin and that you have no faith and and you know going forth with what he told you to do if you're afraid while doing it because if you see in the bible gideon is an example he was afraid he was a coward they literally call him a coward at first but every single time he still did what god instructed him to do so this week i was literally finding myself complaining about certain stuff because i was trying to relate to friends or whatever the case is and when i say by this is because you know sometimes when you're talking to your friends and we're both experiencing um things that are not ideal things that we don't really want to experience whatever case is we tend to talk about it because that's what we're supposed to do as friends and stuff like that however in this season specifically for me and it might refer to other people god does not want us to sit over here and just talk about what we see all oh, this happened all oh, that happened da, 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 da. ignore all of that and keep being persistent keep moving forward on what you're doing because if you take your eyes off the prize entirely you are going to end up in the corner shivering in the corner instead of having courage and going about it so when you have that peace that peace over you with stuff when stuff is going left here and stuff is going wrong here you know you are being courageous you are stepping out and you're doing stuff that's scary and that's a good thing because that's the type of fear that god wants us to do he said go ahead and do it still do it 
Still go ahead and do what I asked you to do. Even if you're nervous about it, still go out and do what you what I asked you to do and you will reap the benefits. So why I'm bringing this up before I bring this video to a close is because when I was finding myself complaining or trying to relate to my friends and stuff like that, God was literally kind of rebuking me because remember as a, as we guys seen the videos when I did the top three phases of your Christian journey, some of my friends are still coming out of that that stage two when I have kind of been in, in phase three for a little bit now. And it's like, you know, you can't relate. You can't fully I'm not saying you can't relate to your friends, but you can't fully relate to somebody that's in a past season that you already went through fully because you're no longer there. And so it's like, you know, when you're complaining and stuff like that, it kind of throws off mixed signals in the spiritual because it's like you already have that peace. You already have that feeling. So why are you trying to almost in a sense relate so much to the fact that you're going to start projecting fear and doubt back onto yourself? And that's why God was kind of uh, rebuking me just a little bit because as I explained to you guys everybody has different assignments and stuff like that and everybody's in different phases in their spiritual walk and in their spiritual journey so others might feel more intense fear than other people other people might have more faith than other people so God is like if your faith is up here why are you trying to trickle back down to try to make somebody else feel comfortable and this is exactly what I say in the beginning of this video on why this message is titled do not feel bad for where you're going because although I do have things in my life that a normal person or somebody else who would see all of this stuff would instantly panic. It's like I can't fully relate to people because I have that peace over me if that's making sense. And that's exactly why I'm saying don't feel bad because you don't feel bad. Don't feel bad because you don't have anxiety. Don't feel bad because you are moving up and you are tr more trusting in God than somebody else that's in their phase two. Okay. That's, that's pretty much how I'm tying this message in together. Also, before I get off, if you guys like this dress, it says chosen. It's a bodycon dress. I have this in small, medium, and large, and it is on my website. In three different colors, it's in this rose pink color, it is in a green bay color or a tea color as I like to call it, green tea, or it's also in an olive green color. And I will leave all my links and descriptions down below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.